Sense 101, my thoughts while grading. We're going to roll through these questions at a time. To me, it looks like this person is using an alternative formula. If you, if you look at this right here, if I divide both sides by the whole, I'll have percent over 100 equals part over whole, which is legit. All right, this is another legit percent formula that could get used. My only problem is if you're going to use a different formula, you still need to know what parts go where. Percent over 100, that should be part over whole, and those are backwards, so you're going to end up with wrong answers when that happens. Both of those were percents, so neither one of them goes in the part or the whole spot. We have to do our reading of our situations and know what goes where in our formulas. This person, beautiful set of mathematics and explanation. I'm cool with that. They never go on to answer the actual question, though. Would you rather? Would you rather? Okay, so be careful when you get done your mathematics. If there's a question that was asked, answer the question. This guy answers the question but never does the math. I would rather have 175% of the school district salary because it's bigger than just 75%. 175% is bigger than 75%, but I told you guys when I introduced percents, percents don't stand alone. They always refer to something. 175% of what? 75% of what? And if this thing is a whole lot bigger than this thing, which it is, that's going to affect the direction, the sign points. You need to do the mathematics. We're in high school. I'm, I am probably very rarely going to give you something that's as easy as just identifying that 175 is bigger than 75. We got same kind of error here. Inserting two things that were given in the problem as percents into things that aren't percents. Neither one of these belong here. One of them belongs here. When you're doing this car problem, you actually need to do two separate problems. That's why there's two percents. One time you do the problem, you're using 75% of the car value. The other time you do the problem, you're doing 175% of the teacher's salary. This right here is a near perfect answer. If you're looking to steal one, near perfect. We've got full, nice and concise, full explanation of the mathematics that's being done and then answering the question. Only one out of these three people answered, answered the top question, what is the length? Keep in mind, inches only get divided into halves, fourths, eighths, and sixteenths, 30 seconds. Okay, so you probably want six eighths, not six ninths. Six eighths also reduces, but uh, I'd be cool, two and six eighths. That's legit. I am glad to see that you've got that measurement. Also, this is points, right? This this shows me that you know something. Here's my here's my issue though, with all three of these answers. I don't know what to say. It confused me. Not gonna lie. I need help, sir. I don't understand this. I don't want you to turn the problem in. Then I want you to ask a question in class. Ask in class. I will, in most cases, prefer a finished product that is two days late than a on-time product that's incomplete and has stuff like this. This guy here, just resize the image. Um, that's what the, that's what expansion means. We're trying to figure out what buttons to press on the copier to resize it. You aren't necessarily, I understand in this scenario, in this electronic delivery of everything, you could resize the picture on your computer, but if this was in a magazine, or are going to need to use the percent expansion button on the copy machine as suggested here, and you can use trial and error and pay for a lot of ink, or you can know how to do math. Option number two will be less likely to get you fired. I don't like this explanation. All right, this is this is this is fake to me. By multiplying certain numbers to get that. What certain numbers? Okay, instead of writing out the explanation, just tell me what you did. If you did 2 times 10, just show that. 2 times 10 equals 20. If you did 4 times 5, show that. I don't know what numbers you are 
talking about. It could be, oh, it could be a number between 2 and 3 times a number that's a little bit less than 10. I'm not sure, though. 2 and a little bit times 3 and a little bit equals 9 and a little bit looks, looks fairly accurate. I don't have a calculator in front of me. However, this isn't the question that's being asked. We want to know a percent that we're going to expand to something. Okay, so you want to take this, you want to take this, change it into a percent, which, if you don't know how to do, ask in class. It's going to be 300 something percent, because percent, to change a regular number into a percent, we multiply by 100. I'm cool with that. Okay, I like this explanation of where they get their information. This is another situation, though, where if you divide 9 and 3 fourths by 2 and 7 eighths, there's no percent symbol in, in there. There was no percent symbol in the problem. You're not going to have one in the answer. The answer that you got is 3.39. That's not a percent. That's a regular number. And if you want to turn it into a percent, you got to multiply it by 100. Yeah, 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 yeah. This right here, this right here is another near perfect answer. I know exactly what's happening here. I see the formula. I see the numbers placed into the formula. You're showing me what steps you're doing to isolate the variable. Near perfect answer. The only thing that I would add in is when you get your answer, answer part, then you do put the percent symbol. It should be 90% because if it charges to 160 minutes, it should be 90 at 50 minutes. I know what you're thinking here. You're thinking that 90 is 10 less than 100 and 60 is 10 more than 50 so if it's taking 10 more minutes then I should rise 10 more percent that's not how percents work though that's not how proportions work if I followed your logic out to its conclusion according to you phones never 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 get less than 40 percent charged you need to go back and use the formula <laughs> that's why the formula is there Identify what represents a whole, what represents a part, and use them to find the percent that should be charged after 50 minutes and then, and then compare it to the one that has been charged. I see what's happening here. Your conclusion has a flaw in it. You're saying 78% of 60 is 46.8. That's not time remaining, that's time that has elapsed already. That's what you, that's what you basically figured out. You figured out what 78% of an hour is. Okay, now, if you want to compare that to this other number, 50, and talk about why the phone is or is not on track, that could be a method that you use for this problem. Right, my issue here, if you're doing 50 over 100 in our formula, percent over 100 times whole equals part, that means that you're identifying 50 as a percent, and clearly it says 50 is minutes, not a percent. Same thing down here. 60 over 100, you're identifying 60 as a percent when clearly it's not, it's minute. So 60 needs to either go in the whole or part. Bloody question. I addressed this already in class. Please don't ever do that. 17% minus 35 equals 18%. You're doing 35 milliliters of blood minus. 17% equals 18 of nothing. You can't, you can't mix your units when you add or subtract. Blood and percents do not mix by adding or subtracting. You can multiply them and get something out of it, but not add or subtract different units. That's like saying 7 plus 3x equals 10. You don't know what the x is. So you can't combine them like that. This guy right here, this is legit, legit, legit. If it is 17% blood, then it's 83% water. That doesn't answer the question. What I do like about this is I always want you to show me that you know something. I see how, I see how you might have thought that this is kind of answering the question. That, that will be what the, 
that will be what the percentage of water is after you add the water but I'm looking for an amount of milliliters I recognize this number I think it is part of the solution process problem where to come from on your paper you need to show your steps no guesses they tell you how much this guy's willing to sell the diamonds for they tell you that he's selling it at 70% of the typical price you need to use math to figure out what the typical price is not just what it looks like to you this is how this is how you end up getting ripped off all day every day if people find out that you come up with prices that way they're gonna rip you off so let's do math please if you're adding notes in just add them separately from your document I cannot read this no matter how much I expand it because it got contracted down to fit inside the document just that attach it just add it as another attachment it doesn't need to go inside of the worksheet itself you're allowed to attach as many things as you need to